Adjusterpedia.com. Hey, this is Mark from Adjusterpedia.com. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make a dome or fan type ceiling in Sketch. Uh, so what I'm going to do is, first I'll get rid of this one, and then we'll get started. First thing I want to do is use the R for the room key. I'm just going to use a default size, 12 by 12. I'm going to take this corner and drag it in. That's a left click and drag in. And it makes it a right triangle, but we don't want a right triangle. We want an isosceles. So we'll highlight the whole thing, grab the bottom there, and drag it to the center. And now you can see we've got a, an isosceles triangle. I'll go in and change this just to keep things simple. Call it a dome ceiling. And we want to do a couple more things. We want to drop the ceiling from the box down to a sloped. And let's make this 16 feet and 8 feet tall and low. And then if we take a look at this in 3D, you can kind of see what's going on here. Oops, looks like I may have, oh yeah, here, one more thing. We've got to change the orientation. In this case, we've got the orientation going up. So if you just click the orientation button, click the direction you want it, now you can see sloping up. Perfect. So this is really simple. All we got to do is copy. So I did Control C and I paste. Now I'm going to tab this around until I can line it up, click it in place. Do it again, Control V, tab it around, click it in place. And I went ahead and did the others, so you didn't have to watch me do them all. If you did it perfect, this should fit right into place. Excellent. Um, now let's look at this in 3D mode. I'll hit the 3 key. You can see, looking pretty good. A few things we need to do, though. We want to get rid of all these, so we'll just... I'm going to control and click each of these walls, and we'll just delete them all at once. Get rid of those. There's a the 3D look again. Looks beautiful. And uh, you can see, since I did the orientation on the first one after copy and paste, all of them pointed the right direction. Had I not done that, you'd have had to do them all separately. And that's about all there is to it. Um, let's see, I'm going to put this in 3D mode and show you one thing. If you do the Shift and the C key, it makes the ceiling visible and invisible. So there you go. So that's really all there is to it, so just give that a try. I'm sure you'll have no problem. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out to me. Thanks. If you found this tutorial helpful, please like it for me and subscribe to our channel to see more Xactimate tutorials. Leave a comment or drop me an email if you want to request a special topic related to adjusting or Xactimate.